Hello friends, I'm Parois and this is our 8th video in Python Flask Crowd Web Application Development. In the last video we have covered how you can retrieve your data from your MySQL database and add that to your uh, uh, application table. Uh, in this video I'm going to show you how you can edit or update your data. Uh, this is our uh, uh, form that uh, through this form we are going to update our data. Uh, before this, if you need the source code of this uh, series of videos, you can download that from my GitHub. I will add the link to the video description and you can download that. Okay. Uh, let me open my PyCharm ID and before uh, this I have added a div ID and you should add after the TR uh, this line of code. Uh, to your web application. Okay. Now, the first thing you need, you should uh, come to the update information and uh, in here. In the in this section. Okay. We are going to give the value to this. Uh, this is row dot zero. And here we are going to give value. Uh, row dot one uh, let me refresh this and let me check this and if I click on this you can see now I have in my name I have my database volume if I click on this for example in Tom in edit you can see now I have Tom name in here and also for email and phone you can do this uh, for the email row dot uh, two I think it's two yeah and for the phone uh, you can give value row dot three now let me refresh this and if I click on edit you can see now I have my three values in this text text fields okay now open your app dot by and here we are going to define our uh, update or edit let me make it bigger and in here let me def update okay, first uh, of this I need a route at app dot route and the route is update and the methods methods is post and also get we need uh, okay now define your update in here if request dot method is post then first of all we are going to make a variable of id data and let me uh, copy okay request dot for id and uh, let me copy these three from here and paste it in here like this now make a cursor object mysql dot dot connection dot cursor and in here execute your query execute update students Oops. oh sorry 
card.execute update students oh, let me just one minute give it like this update students set name to a placeholder of string and email to string also phone string okay where where id is string placeholder okay uh, now in here give a comma and give your value name email phone and id data like this okay also uh, you can give a flash message in here uh, data updated successfully now commit the connection mysql dot connection dot commit and at the end you should return redirect URL for and let me check this. This is index, okay, like this. Let me refresh this and now uh, open your. This is our update. Uh, open your index.html and find the action for this. Where is it? Yeah, form action. Now in here, uh, you should write URL for and give your update in here. Let me refresh this and for example, I'm going to change this the email to like this if I click on update yeah data updated successfully you can see that now it is updated and if I check my uh, uh, web server let me open this just I'm going to check my what was my update name uh, a database name it was crowd application Okay, now I'm going to open this. And uh, student data. Uh, now you can see that also it's changed in here. Uh, for example, if you want to change uh, another data, for example, this John, John uh, I want to update this. For example, you can give this John Logan. Also, you can change the email to johnlogan at gmail.com. Also, you can give a number, for example, 999. If I click on update, data updated successfully. And also, you can check uh, the data updated in our tables. I have 999. And if you check the database, also, uh, it updated in here. Uh, Okay, thank you guys. Uh, this was our updating. If you have any question, please let me know. And for the further videos, don't forget subscription of my channel. Also, if you need the source code, you can check the video description and download the uh, full source code of this web application.